Even all remarks here, back again with another video, back again with another Oculus Go video. And in this video, we're going to cover my top five favourite Oculus Go Beat Saber type games. Now, we don't have Beat Saber on the Oculus Go. It's just got released on PlayStation VR. It's on PC, it's on Vive and Rift and everything, but we haven't got it on the Oculus Go. We're probably never likely going to have it, but we do have some pretty good one Saber type games on the Oculus Go now where you can play along and play some songs and a lot of them allow you to create your own songs and upload your own stuff as well so they're pretty good. They vary in price from free to $5.99 but we'll cover all of those in this video now and I'll kind of go through the basic features of each of them, what differentiates them, what makes them different and sort of better or worse than the other ones and uh, also go through one song from each so you can kind of see how the whole gameplay works. And uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. Right, first up we have Hard Light Blade. It's a free lightsaber game. It has primarily a kind of wave based sort of lightsaber type game, but it does have a rhythm mode built in. And the great thing about this game is you can upload your own MP3s to your headset, so the song selection isn't great. You've only got five songs. They're not amazing, but you can upload your own MP3s and play them. We'll play on, I should have played it on normal at least, but we'll play on easy. And I'll sort of show you the gameplay. So, obviously being free, you've got to kind of give it some analysis. The developer of this game is pretty good, pretty active. He's quite kind of a keen supporter of the Oculus Go. He's got a very good Fire Zone sort of Counter-Strike um, game coming out soon. Which is worth, oh, all oh, the over here. So this is my intro music and I'll be honest it's more kind of a case of poking them than slicing them but you can slice they kind of just fall down rather than slice them avoiding the bombs watch the bomb there's no uh, particular massive skill to it one colour, you slice one sabre with both colours, there's no kind of, all you got to do is avoid the bombs. But what you got to remember with this one is it's free. So if you want a kind of simple Beat Saber-esque game, and you don't want to spend any money, this is your best option. Ooh, Ooh hello, 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 get a, bit, get a bit crazy now, get a bit mad. And done. So overall, gets a thumbs up for me. It's uh, for what it is. It's fine. It's free. Why not? Let's move on to the next one. Next up, we have Smash the Beats. So it doesn't have the most exciting of menus. You're kind of standing on a platform, looking at these tracks. The tracks aren't amazing. Um, the track selection is what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tracks. They're all a bit meh. I know some people seem to like them, but you once again you can upload your own MP3s, and it can play those as well. So let's have a quick play. Oh, actually, one of the good things you can do here is you can do a shield mode, a hammer mode, or a sword mode. So it's kind of the same. The shield kind of blocks stuff. The hammer, you bash stuff. And the sword, well, it's essentially the hammer, just in a different shape. And you can change the difficulty of all of those. So let's do, you've probably seen hammer and sword type ones. Let's do a shield ones, just so you can kind of see. And we'll do my song again. Well, I say my song, my intro song. All right, ready? And in this one, you've got to ch click the trigger to change the colour of your weapon to blue or oh, or orange, and avoid the uh, oh them <laughs> ah them. So it's got a little bit more depth to it compared to uh, Hard Light Blade. You've got to kind of switch between your colours. Uh, and try to avoid the bombs. Oh, 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 I messed them up. Oh no, lots of bombs. Or skulls even, not bombs. Oh. Oh, oh. And uh, it works quite well. It's quite fun. I think if it had a little bit more polish and some of the default tracks were better, it'd be a much easier recommendation. But it's four quid, so it's not too bad. It's relatively cheap. So I'm kind of the lower end. Of these ones, dun, 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 dun. and there we go. 
But overall, there's no kind of uh, online leaderboards or challenging each other or anything like that. The hammer and the sword. We'll quickly jump into the hammer one just so you can see the hammer. Um, let's do my own track again, shall we? Uh, just so you can kind of see what the hammer looks like. And the sword kind of looks like a sword. But you, you, you kind of swing it around like the other one. You change the colour. You do actually hit in the direction of this one. So unlike the other one where you're just blocking it, you do actually have to kind of hit it in the same way. You don't get any kind of feedback as to, you know, whether you're hitting it right or anything like that. They don't make a sound. So it's a bit of a kind of shallow experience. And as I say, the default tracks aren't great. So the selection is pretty poor. You definitely need to be thinking about uploading your own things. But it's kind of fun. I think with a little bit more polish, it could be quite good. It probably could be a contender. It's actually kind of in-game. It actually looks quite smart. But uh, what we'll do, we'll now jump into our next one. Let's go. All right, next up we have Track Slash. It comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven tracks. I know the devs were promising like a track every week or every couple of weeks. I don't think we've kind of had that. We've had a few, couple of extra tracks, but not as many as they've said. But you know, it's three ninety nine, eleven tracks. You can't add your own tracks. You can only add, um, you can only have whatever tracks that it comes with. The track selection isn't too bad. It's quite good. Uh, the, the lightsaber is basic looking. Um, what I would probably suggest is jumping into the menu here, increasing the hit volume. So then it kind of is a bit beefier when you hit targets. And here we go. You can kind of listen. Let's choose the first one. Let's do a normal play and see how we go. So you can see the graphics aren't sort of anything too fancy, pretty sort of straightforward and basic. Uh, you get sort of a visualizer, you don't change the weapon color or anything like that. I think if you... I mean, there's no kind of feeling of hitting these apart from the sound that I've just boosted up. So I probably do recommend you kind of do beast boost it up so you kind of get a bit more of a feedback. But it plays quite well, it does chop them in half or mess them up. One thing that does bug me is the little arrows on the boxes isn't centralized. It's not in the middle of all of them. And you've got to kind of hit the, the tip of your sabre. Not really kind of the back or anything, so you can't be kind of get caught behind. And there's no kind of like... Is it, oh actually, are there any bombs? I'm not sure there are. I think it's just targets, is it? Um, let's see if we come up with any bombs. I can't actually remember. Dun, dun, dun. But as I say, the track selection's quite good, so it's not, um, it's not too bad. But as I say, only 11 tracks for your four quid. But it's fun to play along with. My kids enjoy this one. I think maybe Smash the Beats is maybe a little better. Hardlight Blade is free, so we're going to give that one a pass for just for being free. Oh. But there's nothing kind of too special about this. It's kind of very sort of basic, and I'm missing them, even though it's, you know. Bum, bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. But, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, graphically, it's quite solid. It's not kind of flickering or glitching or stuttering or anything like that. And considering I'm kind of recording at the same time, it's working quite well. Bum, 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 bum. And there we go, you get a little bit of a multiplier. Get a high score, you do have um, leaderboards, so you can play against other people, which is something the, a lot of the other games don't have. So if you do want to kind of compete with people to get high scores, then this is probably the the game for you. Uh, you can change the difficulty, uh, you can choose, as I say, choose different songs. It actually does have patch notes. So what was that, the 5th, the 11th, we had an update of a new song. So we haven't had another new song in a month. So I think the support there is probably ended now, which is, you know, fair enough. It's only a four quick game. Let's move on to the next one. All right, now we have Mootoon. And Mootoon's special sort of ability, as it were, is that it has a YouTube mode. If you click in there, you can search for any YouTube video and it plays in the background at the same time as playing. So if you wanted to, you could watch my YouTube videos at the same time as playing this. Now, normal videos don't give you much of a, a song to play along with. 
but you can search any sort of music track on YouTube and it plays. But what we will do is just go back to the home and choose one of the, the normal tracks. Uh, we'll choose Expert on this one. Just here you can get, get a feel of the tracks. They've got quite a lot of their own tracks in here. So there is quite a few, but they're not very, there's no vocals to them. They're all pretty basic. But instead of using a lightsaber, we actually kind of have this sort of diamond to kind of move. So it's similar to a more like a traditional rhythm game. And you just got to basically kind of look where you want to look to hit the targets. So it's quite a good one for kind of building those neck muscles. If you want to kind of look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And if you get a nice big streak going, you end up going into kind of like a warp zone. And if you kind of want some interact interaction while you're watching your YouTube videos, then this is probably a good, a good option. I'll probably jump into one of the YouTube ones after this one, just so you can see what it looks like. I'll boot up one of my videos. But you don't get many targets to hit. This isn't the hardest difficulty setting. It does go harder. There we go. In the zone now, baby. In the zone. And you get sort of perfect scores for hitting them in the middle. But the songs are alright. The songs aren't too bad. They're kind of, as I say, no kind of vocals. But once again, it's four quid. So it's the same price as a lot of the other ones on here. It seems to be the magic number for price for games. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah. And you do get different kind of backgrounds depending on the song. It does vary a little bit. You're in some sort of spaceship. It's almost like a 180 degree. If you look behind us, if I, if I ever get the chance, you can see we're kind of stood in a, a little spaceship. If I miss one, we go out of the little sort of warp zone looking area back into the outside world. But this one's probably a little bit easier for maybe people to get into involved in because, you know, gaze controls are uh, quite easy to do. A bit easier to understand, you just look. And it tracks quite well. Hey! There we go, we're in a spaceship. See? Um. Do you want to return to home? Yes, let's return to home. You do use your controller to control that bit. And if we jump back to home, and I'll quickly show you the uh, the YouTube mode. Let me choose one of my YouTube videos. My uh, virtual desktop video. I'll show you what that looks like quickly. You won't play. You don't get many notes on a YouTube video version. There we go, loading. And let's go load. There we go. That's me. So you can watch your YouTube videos. What I do find is that you don't get many targets, but I get distracted. I forget about them while I'm watching. Which is kind of fun. So it's not just the sound of the YouTube video. You actually get to kind of watch it at the same time as trying to hit the targets. Obviously, if it was a music video, you'd get more targets. So you'll sort of see once we hit my my intro. Via an app, no, on now I'm talking over myself, aren't I? But we'll uh, we'll exit out of that. You don't need me talking over me. Oh, stop! So stop, Remarker! Stop! <laughs> but this is quite a good one. This is kind of underrated one. I kind of really do like kind of mood tune. Um, I, I think it's almost a hidden gem of Beat Saber type games. It's not strictly a Beat Saber because you don't have a saber, but it is a rhythm game. So it gets, definitely gets a thumbs up for me. Let's move on to our last one, shall we? All right, last but very much not least, we have Beatron 2000, which I think is my probably my personal favorite. You do have 10 tracks built in, but if you go to their website, beatron2000.com, you can actually download a program to your PC, link it with an MP3 file, and actually physically create your own track and your own targets in whichever order you run them in. So it's definitely worth checking out. But if we kind of have a little look here, uh, let me choose one of my favorite ones. This one, and I like sticking them on expert. I think some of them are a little bit harder than others, but I can do these ones. Uh, there we go. So you get like a, a disc, and it's a very Tron-esque world, and you are slicing things in half. You don't change color or use a different button or, or anything like that. I was saying that you do chuck your discs, so we should get a disc to throw it a bit. We can chuck our disc to hit a blimp. 
but you've got to kind of hit slice them in the direction of where you're hitting. And I just smacked my keyboard. Hopefully that didn't stop the recording. <laughs> Uh, you don't have any leaderboards yet, but the, I know the developer is looking to implement those. And then you get these balls that you can hit. I like hitting them the right way, so you can kind of see the particle effect. Whoa, whoa. You can hit them back behind you if you want to. But where's the fun in that? You want to see what's going on, don't we? Da, 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 da. Quite a fluid movement. I guess it. Oh, I'll just I say that. I'll just miss one. The track selection is quite good. There's a few tracks. I think I prefer the ones that have lyrics in them. Um, so it's maybe about half of the tracks are pretty good. Uh, half are okay. Uh, I think the devs are looking to add some more tracks. Oh, there we go. We get to chuck our disc. You pull the trigger to throw it. Uh, uh, oh. uh. So you just splat on the the, the, the things there. I would say they're globes, but I don't know what shape you'd call those. They kind of look like those moon balls you get for kids. They like bounce really, really high in the air. And this one's, I think, probably my personal favourite out of all of them. I'll be honest, my name is in the credits. And, oh, I missed the last one. My name is on the credits on this one because I did help test it and beta test it and did a preview of it. So I've got another video that goes into more detail on it. But there's no leaderboards yet. There are adding leaderboards, if we can still see. That's my name. That's my name. That's my name. But that's not the only reason why I like this. Uh, the developers that work on it, Joe and Joe, they work quite hard and they're really open to feedback. They were tweaking and changing stuff. They made things slightly harder because when I was playing it, I was just going through every single level, getting gold every single time. Uh, but you get 10 songs and as I say, they're pretty good. So this one gets a Thromarchus thumbs up. But let's uh, close out and I'll give you my th final thoughts on Beat Saber-esque games on the Oculus Go. So there we go. There's the five top or my top Oculus Go or Beat Saber type games. They're five rhythm games, they vary in quality and they vary in price. You've got Hard Light Brulette Blade, which is free, absolutely free. It originally was kind of like a wave based hack and slash type thing with a lightsaber, and then he decided to add in a little bit of a Beat Saber type game. Why not? He's testing himself out, seeing what he can do. It's definitely worth a download. Then you've got things like, was it Track Slash, which has got a nice selection of tracks, 11. The developer did say he was going to add more tracks and he hasn't. But he did add he did add one or two before he uh, stopped. Um, but that one's four quid, so yeah, that's worth it. It's quite a fun game, it's quite well made, it's just not the kind of fanciest one. Uh, you've also got Smash the Beats, where you can add your own tracks in. So just literally upload the MP3s to your Oculus Go, it finds them, and then you can just play through them. The track selection in there isn't very good, but you do get the option to kind of switch between colors when you're playing, between your shields, your hammer, or your saber, uh, which is a nice touch. Um, but you don't get kind of much of a kind of feel that you're slicing and bashing things. They don't really make any noises, so consider that. And then you've got Mewtune, which is, I think, an underrated uh, Beat Saber or sort of rhythm game on the Oculus Go. Once again, four quid, uh, and you use your gaze control. So you do use a controller for controlling the menus, but then you kind of gaze around trying to get the high score, and it actually becomes quite sort of hypnotic on some of the faster levels trying to keep up. So definitely worth recommending, and it's got the YouTube feature as well, which is quite fun to kind of watch your favourite YouTuber, maybe me, you know, could do, uh, watch the latest videos and play a little bit as you go along sort of thing. I did find that I ended up getting distracted and missing the <laughs> targets, even though they come through really slow, but it's worth checking out. And then finally we have Beatron 2000, which is £6, so it's more expensive than any of the others. Uh, so bear that in mind, but it is quite good. Uh, the track selection is solid. The graphics and sort of the controlling of it and the shooting of the, the discs and stuff is a nice change. It does work very well. It's a disc instead of a saber. Um, and you can upload your own tracks. So if you go to beatron2000.com, you can download a little program and then you can attach it to your MP3 and you can actually literally choose the pattern of the hits that go. And I'd be interested to know, like, if you if you do create any of those, share them with me. Show me where you share them, download them somewhere, upload them to Dropbox or something, and maybe I'll do a future video where I kind of play through those sort of thing. But I think probably overall, Beatron 2000 is probably my favorite, but it is the most expensive. 
uh, and I have been a bit close to that, so maybe I'm a little bit biased, I don't know. You tell me, am I being biased? Uh, but I do quite like Beatron 2000, I think overall it's probably my favourite. Um, if I was to choose a second one, probably Mewtoon, I do like Mewtoon as well. Um, just because I can play my own videos in, a, in an egotistical way uh, and help massage my ego while I'm uh, playing, so you know, whatever I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but let me know in the comments down below if you've downloaded any of these games, what do you think about them, which one's your favourite, have I missed any? Do you think any that are already out there that I've missed and were better than those ones? Let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, that's fine and big enough and ugly enough to take it. But do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it and I'll try and do better for next time. Become one of the Remarkles, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And that's me done, I'm out, have a virtual high five!